So um, Genes to Word Cloud is a biology-oriented interactive word cloud generator. Primarily, I've built off of the original website done by Caroline Baru. And really, the idea and the features and even the database annotations were really her ideas and her painstaking effort. So I'll give her a lot of the credit, but I did update and make certain things work a little better. The motivation of app like this is to understand the gist of a gene or an author or anything in biology without needing to actually read through tons of papers. You'll notice here I've queried ABI1, a gene, and uh, I got 402 results. No one wants to read all that. Well, maybe, but not right away. First, put it into the gene to word cloud and get a nice visual summary. And the visualizations we generate can be quick and powerful in their reach. Ultimately, the original code base used PHP, which had some very painful web parsing without the power of things like beautiful soup available now, elaborate natural language property, natural language processing, uh, which was also significantly simplified with NLT. Extensive use of temporary files, which weren't really necessary, also made the pipeline somewhat slow and uh, memory hungry. It wasn't very security conscious with vulnerable MySQL queries, and it used a Java applet on the web page, which seems to be being phased out in HTML5 and JavaScript is the place to be nowadays. So we've done that. Uh, here are some features of this app. So you can create from a gene, from free text, a URL, or you could even give an author or a basic PubMed search. Uh, each of the genes has some subcategories which allow you to search different sources. So you can crawl PubMed articles themselves, read the abstracts, and create a word frequency diagrams from those. Or there are certain annotations that, again, the original creator of this project has assembled, which do a very good job at attaining similar, if not the same, results as the longer PubMed crawling. There's a whole help which describes exactly how we generate these word clouds, uh, what we remove so that we get nice looking word clouds without unnecessary terms and more. Ultimately, the server side part of this app is taking your input and it creates a big word list by taking the data from the database and the abstracts, it gets uh, lemmatized, which basically associates different types of words. For instance, scientific, scientist, scientist, which all mean the same thing and calls them one concept, science. Right? Uh, so this way you don't get skewed word frequency counts. After you know, going through lemmatization, they get counted up and we find the z-score and send that to the client. The client then allows you to filter by z-score, but ultimately it provides lots of dynamic options so that you can make your word cloud however you want it to look. That's it. Again, Baruch was primarily the you know, author of this work, but it's been updated pretty nicely. It's available in a Docker container and will be deployed shortly. Thank you.